Hi guys, Greg with Gratan Rifles. What I'm going to cover today is bushing the firing pin hole and the fixes that it does for you. We get a lot of calls of frustrated shooters. Greg, I'm cratering primers. I'm blanking primers. I'm not shooting a hot load. I've tried some of the fixes that I've read or heard about of putting a fat firing pin in, making the fit of the firing pin to the firing pin hole tight. I've tried different springs. It's not the problem. The problem is the firing pin hole is too big and for the thickness of material, meaning the primer cup, it can only support so much pressure before it starts to bend and give because it's an unsupported free span. To give you some demonstrations of what I'm talking about, um, I've set up here just some blocks with some material to represent the primer cup and on a large span, unsupported, you apply pressure, it flexes very easily. You shorten the span that the material has to support, meaning make the firing pin hole smaller, same material, it supports it better. To show you the size differences, this bolt is a standard firing pin hole and this hole has been bushed. Just to show you, it's, it's real easy to see looking at one of the size differences. Now, what benefits you gain by that are several. And not just by bushing the hole and making it smaller so you don't crater, I try to look at what can we do to help along with doing this one operation. What I did here was I cut open a bolt and you can see for the front pin travel and the support of the firing pin hole. This is shaped just like a gasoline funnel. Now when I slide the pin in, this is the fired position. The dry fire collar stop sets the protrusion. You have over a quarter inch, about 270 thousandths of, of cocking of the spring back. When that happens, the firing pin comes back and drops down into this funnel ramp area. Well, now your pin, when you fire, ramps up, finds center, and goes forward and ignites the primer. What I do when I bush a firing pin hole is I lengthen by putting a long bushing in here so you have a longer support so when your firing pin draws back it's encapsulated inside the bushing doesn't drop down you don't wear the bottom side of your firing pin and you keep the pin centered in the bolt for a drag free travel you're only you're being guided by the bushing and you're being guiding back by the bolt shroud that's a benefit by having us bush the firing pin hole along with making it smaller and supporting the pressure. This turn section here is just to show you how much longer we make the bushing inside the bolt. And here I'll just slide this in. We run our bushing back to here. So when you cock the firing pin back and shoot, you're getting an added benefit by bushing the firing pin hole. Another one is if you've had leaking primers you get the fire cut on the bolt face. Now this is basically cosmetic. We've actually seen them you know over a hundred thousandths deep. This can be taken care of and will be taken care of also when we bush the firing pin hole. But if you don't change your load or your components that's causing leaking primers, you're going to fire cut the face again. Now, bushing the firing pin hole does stop cratering at the acceptable pressures that the gun was designed to work with. Again, it's an unsupported free span. Even though we've made the hole smaller, if you keep running the pressure up, 65, 70, 75,000 PSI, you can get an 062 hole to crater or pierce, but you've also locked the gun up and you've got more problems. This isn't trying to make the rifle so you can run hot loads. It's so you can run proper loads without the problem of cratering or 
getting into blanking. Hopefully this has cleared up some of the myths and given you some good information on the fix to your problem. Thank you, Greg with Grutan Rifles.